Hey everybody, how are you? Today at minideal.net we are proud to introduce to you the new flagship of Xiaomi, the Xiaomi Mi4. Uh, believed to be fully released in November, uh, Xiaomi decided actually to release first a 3G version while we're all waiting for the 4G FDLT version. So let's check out this so believed to be amazing uh, model. So here we go first with the smartphone inside, so we'll get back to it. Otherwise, if we open what else we have, so we have here this little pocket, otherwise we have the USB micro USB cable. We also have a charger, USB charger. And otherwise, in the extra pocket here, so we have the pin to take off the SIM card. We also have a usual manual to interest you the phone. So everything is in Chinese, but if you have any trouble, we will help you sort it out. And the warranty cards, uh, as usual, by Xiaomi. So basically, this is it for, uh, for the box itself nothing else and this is the Xiaomi Mi4 so to quickly show the highlights of this uh, smartphone so we can say that it will be in two versions so the 16 GB and the 64 GB it doesn't have any SD card slots the battery is nano removable and uh, we have access here to actually a new design from Xiaomi that we will go deeply into details and we also have the Snapdragon 801, like 2.5 GHz, 3 GB of RAM, and a battery of 3080 mAh. So this is it for the really the big, big highlights, and I'm not talking yet about the cameras. So if we have a closer look here um, at the smartphone itself, so let's present the feature. So here we have an 8 megapixel camera on the front. This is a Sony IMX219, so aperture 1.8. Uh, an 80 degrees wide angle, we have the speaker here, the sensors uh, otherwise on the bottom here as usual we have the back, the home and the settings button and on the back we have here the 13 megapixel Sony IMX214 uh, aperture also of 1.8 HDR 4K recording and double flash autofocus so on the top here we have the 3.5 mm jack and also here the IR uh, remote control uh, however on this version uh, on this ROM it, no, it doesn't work so here we also have the um, power uh, the volume button the power button here and on the bottom we have the speaker and the USB so this is and I forgot to tell you that here on the other side we have actually the SIM so we can right away open in order to show you what's going on so we just drop it inside and we can extract so this is what we get in here so the, it's in aluminium very very rigid and tough okay so this is actually a, a 3G uh, 3G SIM card okay so I can put it back. So if we talk about the design and, uh, and overall features, so we have here access to a five inches uh, sharp JDI uh, screen, uh, with which is full H full HD and featuring a resolution of uh, nineteen hundred twenty by one thousand eighty. Okay, so otherwise. Talking about the design itself, so here we can see this straight and sharp ridge line um, on the on the edges here. If you look at it, so this is a 0.3 millimeters a straight and sharp ridge line, and on the side we have here a similar uh, design to the iPhone 5s, for example. And on the back, actually, some people were saying that it looks like a bit like the the Samsung Galaxy about the, the round and smooth back cover. 
So this is what we get uh, for the Xiaomi Mi4. So now what I propose to you is to just turn it on and see what's going on. We can just turn it on. And at the same time, we take off the screen cover. So while the, the phone is turning on, we can say this is a 150 grams uh, smartphone and the dimensions are actually 139.2 millimeters by 68.5 millimeters and a thickness of 8.9 millimeters. So this is the Xiaomi Mi4. So here we go, we're inside. So this is Android 4.4.2, however, um, as usual by Xiaomi, this is the MIUI version 5. Uh, let's get straight back to it. Actually, the MIUI will be the version 6 on the, the final release of the Xiaomi Mi4. So this is basically what we get. So we can have a look right away at the toggles, for example. So the airplane, Bluetooth, DND, screenshot, rotation, vibrate, ring, GPS, data, auto and more. So even here you can actually customize uh, which you want to appear in the toggles. So then we can have right away, so you have the notifications and the toggles. So if we go right away to the settings, so this is what we get, so we have general settings and the quick settings, so we can start by the quick settings. So here we have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness, wallpaper, launcher. So basically, okay, let's have a look first. The brightness here is set up to the maximum. We have here the wallpaper, so you can set up your own wallpaper, so the MIUI, life lock, home screen. Then the launcher. So here you see that the screen transi transition effects, so you can change it, and we can, for example, like the cascades. Um, the wallpaper alignments, so you can just choose whatever you want, customize, uh, the application icon layout then we have access to the volume too so you can set up the different volumes uh, device ringtone as well the message and the um, MI clouds as the the other Xiaomi have so for the uh, cloud storage uh, then otherwise in general settings this is actually what we're looking for so we have access to airplane mods the mobile networks uh, if you have a sim card inserted inside the wi-fi bluetooth and for more here we see they have the um, vpn tethering portable hotspots and the old share cast so here you see connect display via wi-fi so ba basically this is uh, allowing you to display actually your um, your little screen here on a bigger bigger screen like for example big television so display, here we see you can set up the brightness, color, temperature and saturation, so which is like quite in interesting, so we see that we can change color and saturation too. So then uh, prevent pocket dials, so this is like a safety feature, so the wallpaper again, the screen saver, so you can take it on, on or off. Uh, the font, you can change the default launcher, optimize, optimize the text, so here optimize paragraph, line breaking, auto rotation, activated screen timeout and pulse notification light. So that's for the display itself, so the sounds we were talking about, so here the different modes you can set up for your ringtones, you can even set up even much more, so you can customize this is one good point of the MIUI, you can actually customize so much your, your smartphone. So the notifications are the same. You can just apply which layout you want. So the security, <coughs> we have the basic stuff. So we will check it later with the different MIUI applications in the menu. Location services. So do not disturb, so DND. So what is DND exactly? So calls and notifications that arrive while your phone is locked will be silenced. So, so then MI Cloud, the Google account, so you can download all your favorite applications with the Google Play Store. We will show you and uh, that we 
we have it on the smartphone. The battery, as I said it before, this is a 3080 mAh battery, so very huge battery. Uh, the storage in here, you can see this is a 16 GB uh, version, so the 64 will be available. Um, the buttons, so here we can see that we can actually set up uh, the long press navigation buttons for the um, lock screen. So we can see that we can have a quick access to some different features. Um, headphones too. So we can just control. Date time languages. So for the languages, here we can see this is a multi-language ROM. So you will be able to find your languages in your language inside. The list is very long. Okay. Application manager, backup and reset accessibility printing and about the device here we can check it out. So this is the MI4 4.4.2 and my UI quad core 2.5 gigahertz, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal memory. So this is for the basic settings. So here we go, we finished uh, all the settings and the toggle certifications. So let's have a look quickly at the menu itself. So here we have access to the camera, the, sorry, the camera, the gallery, music, the themes from MIUI, so you can customize your own theme. Uh, the settings for the tools, what do we have here? The, the MI Cloud, the mail, the clock, sound recorder, FM radio, the torch, uh, calculator, assist, campus downloads, the security, which is special from Xiaomi so we see here we can have a cleaner data usage, block list, power, virus scan kind of the same like the Lenovo Secure It for the people who know uh, calendar, notes, weather, explorer, video um, we have Twitter also pre-installed and uh, Play Store, Gmail and after it's just all about our applications uh, for the review. So this is it uh, basically for what it, what it has to propose to you. So now let's have a look actually um, at the specifications uh, themselves. For that uh, we have installed uh, the latest version of Antutu Benchmark. So uh, the benchmark allows you to, to test the performances of your device to get a score out of it and look at that. 43,874. This is actually very impressive and uh, this is one of the highest score uh, on the market at this time. So let's try to see why we have such a score. So Xiaomi MI4 4.4.2, Qualcomm Snapdragon 801, clock at 2.5 gigahertz. This is a quad core processor. Uh, the Adreno 330 for the graphic processor resolution of 1920 by 1080, so full HD. We have a 30 megapixels uh, camera on the back, so no root access, we'll check it later. Uh, 3 gigabytes of RAM, so like the Asus, uh, the, sorry, the OnePlus One, for example. Uh, then here we have 16 gigabytes of internal storage, but we have a 64 available as well, so the quad core processor, I just said before. And we have, so this is 5 inches, here they say 480 dpi, however, uh, we have confirmation, this is actually a 441 ppi, so which is very sharp, because this is like actually a 5 inches sharp JD, uh, JDI screen, so which is um, alone very, very, very sharp details on it, okay? So, multi-touch, so 30 megapixels and 8 megapixels, 4K recording and uh, both actually both cameras have an aperture of uh, 1.8, which is actually very good for uh, for low lights and uh, wide angle too. So XMO RS CMOS uh, for the the back camera actually. So then I said 150 grams, so Android 4.4.2 uh, GPS on it, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, no NFC, Wi-Fi, and all. All, all um, sensors except one, which is the relative humidity sensor. So that's it for the specifications themselves. So what else to check? So we have here the display info. Actually, that's what something which is very important. So here we see that we have 60 hertz for the refresh rate, so which allows you to type extremely fast on the keyboard without any trouble, and you will not have any confusion or double letters or whatsoever. Otherwise, we have to check the root access. 
So as previously previously said by Antutu before the story, these devices have proper root access. So basically, if you want to change the Android version of the on the smartphone, you will first have to root the phone. Okay, so please bear that in mind. Then we have the multi-touch. So you can actually just drop the phone and check it out. So this is actually a 10 touch capacitive screen. So I repeat, this is a JDI, um, JDI screen, so sharp JDI, full HD, okay? So then what we'd like to see is actually the performances of the GPS. So what's going on with the GPS? We just launch it. So here we see we already have few satellites in view and working. So I just quickly went uh, outside just to, to confirm what was going on. So here you can see this is still working uh, on it. So we have like 20 feet accuracy right now inside of the house, 23 to 36. So in, inside is a bit less accurate, but if we go back to the screenshot when I was outside and here we see that we have actually 13 uh, feet accuracy for, for the GPS and was working very, very fast and efficient. So no problem at all. So to show the camera, uh, we can just, for example, just launch it in, in order to show you quickly what is going on. So here, in the settings, we see that we have actually the panorama, the filters. So filters, we have actually access to a lot of different settings that we can use, close the filter. Then we have the HDR modes, the burst shoots, refocus, and the settings here we see that we can have actually access to, to a lot of settings. So camera frame, 4.3 4, or 16.9. We have also the picture quality, so three different kind of modes, uh, store location if you want. So here you can actually set up the, um, the volume button functions for the shutter or not. Long press shutter, camera sounds, scan QR codes, time watermark, if you want to make one or not, so chroma flush and advanced settings, which is one of the most important here. Auto exposure settings, so here we see that you can set up really, really deep inside everything. So you can put auto or not here for the anti-bending. Saturation, contrast, sharpness, face recognition, air recognition and face detection. So this camera is actually uh, pretty impressive with all the different details we have access to. So we even have here the video mode. So for the video mode, we see that we have actually the HDR2, the 4K mode, and the settings here. We see that it's the same, we just go back, but this is for the camera itself. So the stabilizer and all those other modes. So that was just, and you see that this is actually very fast to take one picture for the people already on and out. Can take a lot quickly. So otherwise, the most important is to see what's going on. So we took some pictures uh, outside before in HDR mode. So here we see that if we zoom on it, we have actually access to a degree of detail, which is very nice. And the colors are actually very beautiful. So we even took a panorama here. As you see, you have access to a wide view easily. So this is basically what you will get, okay? So that's it, that was for the <coughs> for the pictures. Uh, now what I propose to use just to, to play a video in order to test the sound and um, and how it renders on this, on this screen. Uh, we can just go to the file explorer and we have actually a video of GoPro. So we can turn on the sound to the maximum. So the colors are very bright. It is actually a very good pleasure to watch a video on it. The sound for now looks okay and has a good good balance between troubles and bass. And let's wait a little bit more for the rest of the music. 
You can hear some extra details. So now we can see the real power of the sound. Which is actually working very nice. So watching movies on the smartphone, this 5 inch JDI screen will be a very good pleasure with this full HD resolution of nine, uh, 1920 by 1080, okay? So let's go back now. So no problem at all, and um, now what I propose is actually to check a, a big game which is called uh, Ridge Racer in order to, to test the graphic performances. So just to remind you, we have actually the Adreno 330 and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 quad core, like a 2.5 gigahertz, the real racing. Let's check it out. So we can just go right away on it. So we can easily see that no problem to run the latest games available. Even if you set up the graphics to the maximum, it will not be a problem. You can see the details on it, which is pretty impressive. So we see this is completely smooth, no problem at all. The graphic processor and the processor itself are doing a great job. So no problem. The degree of graphism is extremely high. So this is it, this was one of the latest points uh, I wanted to show you. So now the only last thing we can see is actually here on the settings, what do we have access to? You can edit the home screen, the wallpaper, the search, previous home screens, the launcher settings that we have access before and the system settings. So that's the only things uh, left basically uh, to show. So otherwise to make a quick summary about the Xiaomi MI4, new flagship of the Xiaomi brand. So this has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 clock at 2.5 gigahertz. This is a quad core processor. The graphic processor is the Adreno 330, so with high performances for graphism. Uh, we had three gigabytes of RAM on it too as well, 16 gigabytes uh, version on this one, but we also have the 64 gigabytes version available, 5 inches sharp JDI screen, full HD 441 ppi, uh, 1920 by 1080 for the resolution, Android 4.4.2, MIUI version 5 now, but in the future we will have access to the version 6, 2 cameras on it, 8 megapixels uh, on the front, and 13 megapixels on the back, both aperture of 1.8, uh, we have uh, Sony um, sensor both of them the back one is able to even make the 4k recording okay so we have also no sd card slot a non-removable battery of 3080 mAh 
Uh, at this time, the universal remote in here is not working, but it will work uh, in the future for sure. Uh, we can see this sleek and elegant design. We also have uh, one SIM card here, which is only 3G now, which will be 4G uh, in the future. And this very, very nice, actually, uh, straight and sharp ridge lines here on, on, the, on the edges and this metal frame on the side and this plastic smooth back cover which will be customized uh, in the future with bamboo or metal or other different materials. So this is what you get with the Xiaomi Mi 4. So if you have any question, uh, please feel free to leave a comment below this video. So if you feel like purchasing this smartphone, just feel free to visit our website at www.minideal.net and, uh, and otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this review and see you later for the next one then. Bye bye!